All right, hello YouTube. This is Equal Square here with Lesson Six of your beginner Lua tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you some advanced string formatting and um, some um, more uh, functions of the OS uh, standard library. So I have our I have a Lua file here, time.lua, and if I run it, it's going to say today's date is eight slash twenty three slash twenty twelve current. And well, it doesn't disappear. Current time is 12:48 a.m., which is true, as you can see. And um, here, just let it. I'll run it again as soon as it turns to 12:49. Well, actually, I'll run it before and now. So if you see, whenever it turns to 12:49, it doesn't update yet. And then if we run it again, though, it is updated. This, um, well, first of all, before I show you how to fix that, um, I'm going to edit the script here and show you what we've got. So, we're going to get the current date in a table. So, we're going to use local today's date equals os.date. And then this is the formatting. Um, it's just a string asterisk t. And this returns all, like all the things in a table. Um, let me see if I can show you everything that is, um, in the table. If I, uh, actually, me go, uh, os.date lua format. And then right here. Here is all the, um, variables it returns in your table. Um, right here, so we've got an hour, minute, W day, which means uh, weekday, you know, what day of the week it is, um, as in, you know, like in number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, from Sunday to Saturday, and then we've got the year, uh, and then the Y day, year day, um, I'm not exactly sure what it means by year day. I'm, I'm guessing. In fact, is this what it probably means? It probably means like um, how many days are have passed in the current year since January first of that year? That's my guess. Um, then we've got month, um, sec for seconds, and then day for the day, and then I and then is DSD is destination? I guess true. I don't know what that is. Um, but all we use is day, second, month, year, uh, and hour. No, no, wait, and minute. Day, no, wait, we don't use second. We use day, month, year, minute, and hour. So, if we look, uh, we also use month. If we look at the code here, um, we print string dot format. What this does is it allows you to format a string, put stuff in it. Whereas before we could have, we I could have easily done this. Well, let me just explain this first. String dot format allows you to put these special characters, these formatting characters in here to do things. Um, sort of like how whenever I showed you io dot write, we had to do the um, backslash in. Well, these are sort of like those. They're formatting characters, except they are specifically for, like, variables and things. So, if we see here, it says today's date is percent sign %d backslash percent sign %d backslash percent sign %d. And what this means is, uh, decimal. It stands for, like, a decimal number. Um, or a digit or something. I think it, I think it might be digit. Whatever, it has to be an integer, though. And we use today's date dot month, today's date dot day, and today's date dot year. And um well this will return um like if I was to run it right now, it would return uh eight slash twenty three slash twenty twelve. That's what it would return if I was to run it right now. Indeed, that's what it returns. Um and then, so that's how that works. I could have easily just done something like print t date, um, and then done like concatenate two days, d 
date dot month concatenate slash concatenate days date dot day concatenate slash concatenate two days date dot year close it if I comment this out it should work just the same as you can see it works just as fine except I think this is a lot less tedious and it works probably better um, I think it's better for this anyway um, some situations you will want to use this particularly if you want to like put variables in this in like the middle of a string and you don't want to have to use like three or four maybe five concatenations because concatenations can be a bit slower than this I believe at least in some languages and now what we're going to do is um if today's date dot hour is greater than or equal to 12 meaning if it's um past 12 p.m. then we're going to see if it does equal 12 that means whenever we do this it would display as 054 a.m. right now so what we're going to do is if it's equal to 12 we're going to set it to 24 so that it displays as 1254 um so we print string dot format current time is percent sign d colon percent sign d pm and then we're going to do today's date dot hour minus 12 so that we get from 1 to 12 and then we're going to do today's date dot min for a minute and then if it if the dot hour is not greater than or equal to 12 then we're going to do we're going to check if the hour is equal to 0 meaning 12 a.m. if it is we're going to set it to 12 so it displays as 12:55 a.m. Uh, same same formatting string except we don't subtract anything from hour and then we wait five seconds now let's say we want this to update automatically and just so we can see the update better I'm gonna add the seconds on here so bear with me for a second and also I should mention that um, if I am to like uh, Whenever I open this, you see it says format string e1, e2, dot, 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 dot. This means it can have an infinite amount of parameters. Like, um, the sky's the limit. And, like, um, you put as many parameters as you put these formatting, uh, strings. I believe they're called formatting literals or something like that. Uh, don't quote me on that. But, um, so, like, uh, this first variable corresponds to that. Second to the second one. Third one to the third one fourth one to the fourth one so on and so on um so that's how that one works now if I run this I should get the seconds and everything although as you can see it's not updating which isn't good so there's only been one way that I can find to actually make it update and it's not a very good way and I'll show you why as soon as I do this so we're not gonna print it um but anyway we're gonna come down here dang on it stop clicking that there and if we do um while true do and then an end and then let's say now what we now let's say whenever we run it we're just gonna get the same thing over and over and over but it does update but um, the only way I have found to be able to um, make it only show it at once is using OS dot execute which will execute a command line program and that is CLS for clear screen. That's the only way I found to clear the screen in Lua so far, just using basic Lua. And, um, well, actually, let me just run it in here. Time, and, and see, the only problem with this is it sort of flickers. Um, because, um, executing from the shell is really slow in Lua. It's not recommended to be used like this, like in a loop like maybe only like very rarely once if it's like if like a certain thing happens but um so that's the only way i found to actually do that as you can see it's not very good for that but um let me go over some more about these formatting thingies um where you see it says percent sign d like I said, that's because it's an integer. F would be for a floating point, and S would be for a uh, string. So that's how you use different 
types and um uh, I think that's about it. Let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you about. Let's look at the OS library. Operating system facilities. We've got uh, a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go over it right now. Yeah, nothing I'm going to go over right now. But, um... So that should be it for this little lesson. Um, be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.